Pisces, welcome. Your mid-November heart spread read. This reads for the one that's on your mind, the one that's in your heart. And thank you for joining me here at the Urban Jungle Studios of David Sky Tarot. We're using the Illuminated Tarot deck today. Ethereal Visions deck. Um, kind of is, uh, hopefully, so the light is good. Already pre-shuffled, try to move this along a little bit. Need some time in between readings myself, chill out a little bit. It's fantastic energy though here. I mean, I absolutely love this place in Cancun, Mexico. So, let's get going. Four Pentacles. This is where you're at. In and around relationships right now, where your mind and heart is at. I try to look at this as a baseline, take you out a little bit out of the picture of your person. And they're coming in with the sun energy. Boy, that couldn't be any different. Um... Now, I got to say this because it, it popped into my head, uh, and God help me, Narcissus Alert. <laughs> so, because um, this could just be, if you look, if you look at, uh, there, you can Google uh, Echo and Narcissus in Astrology. There's a great article, it usually comes up first, second, and um, talks about how that works. It's significant to me um, as well. Um, so, um, it's just something that comes into my head. Uh, when you're in the four pinnacles energy like you're with uh, you're withholding energy uh, it's not necessarily bad um, it's an odd energy to come into a relationship with usually i mean look if you're in this position you're not really even if you have a relationship and your husband comes in is here you know husband wife doesn't matter you're just like i need a minute i'm just kind of blah and you know leave me alone right uh so but this is the person you're thinking of and they come in with the sun energy, which arguably that's the best uh, energy in the deck. So what's the problem? Well, maybe nothing. I don't know. Um, it's just that's how it works. Like you, the problem that draws in these people is we don't see ourselves as enough. You know, four pinnacles too. It's that feeling like you don't have enough. You're curled up around what little you have, holding on to it, um, holding on to your energy. And these people come, you know, bigger than life characters and somehow in our minds and um, they seem like to be coming with the light of the sun. Yeah. I hate to go this way, Pisces. That's how it went. Now look at this. Five of Cups. How you're feeling towards them. I just think you're dealing... And you know, I've got... I gotta say, I think I'm near 800 videos on YouTube. And I'm a little ashamed because I think I'm at 800, 880 subscribers. And I was like, dear God, please don't let the number of videos exceed the number of subscribers. I need you to take off soon. So tell friend, tell friend, like, share, do comment, and all that. I know this is looking like a rough reading, but, you know, I've been at tarot for years. I love it. It's helped me so much. Tarot, astrology, and psychology uh, helped me more than anything in life. Um, so you got to deal with these things. You're already dealing with, you got five cups energy here. You're not happy with what something. Okay, look guys, narcissist alert. God damn it. We got the sun and now there's nothing wrong with the sun and there's nothing wrong with the king of wands. But in this reading, this is them, how they're doing in and around relationships. And this is them, how they're feeling towards you. Now you tell me, if you're feeling in the five of cups energy, how the fuck are they in the uh, king of wands energy? How is that a good thing? So there's something about what they're doing that's making you feel really bad, emotionally bad. You know, five of cups, pretty, I'd say it's as bad as it can get. But you know, it's eight of sword, eight of sword, nine of sword. It's all like in your head. This is in your heart. This is like someone punched you in the gut. You know, and I think this person is a flat out narcissist here, by some spirit in the way of dealing with them. This is kind of heavy with the, this is the advice from spirit and how to deal with this person. Now, if I'm right about this person, I don't know how I can't be. Um, you're, you're clearly in this five of cups. This is not your reading. I mean, obviously, you're probably not even watching. So, uh, I just got to read how I see it here. But I think this death card, I think it's trying to tell you that you're probably undergoing, a, well, you're vulnerable and you're undergoing a transformation yourself. This is why you're probably in this energy to start with. I'm here. I mean, a lot. It, it, the outer planets, Pluto probably with death, okay, um, is going to be something to do with Pluto, something to do with Scorpio, uh, something to do with your eighth house. Um, and it's, I believe, making you probably more vulnerable 
there's a darkness to death too okay do you understand so if we have a darkness about us and we have a hollowness within us then these people come with their sun and their bells and whistles and their larger in life uh, characters and their fire and they make us feel better for a minute you know until they rape us frankly one way or another so look this is for your person here advice from spirit okay I just I hear things too and what I heard as I looked at that card was oh shame on you shame on you just gotta say so who knows what that's about the star card this is the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole this is the crux of the heart spread take it very seriously now what's uh, interesting here you have Aquarius energy um, as a Pisces, you may well have Aquarius in your chart. Um, you do have Saturn and Jupiter now going direct there again. It's been all about Aquarius for a while. Um, and this is coming between death and this Three of Swords energy. This could be advice for spirit from them to really accept um, maybe the pain that they cause. Uh, this would be kind of going back and accepting like past responsibilities or becoming aware or something like that you see what we have for the outcome here in the four cups so i gotta tell you with the um advice being the star and the four cups being the outcome of this reading guys not sexy reading but sometimes i mean best to know this and move on Best thing to do with narcissists, for the love of God, block, 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 do not. God forbid you marry them and have kids with them, but I don't know what to do. Um, move to India or something, get an online job and disappear. But, you know, this is very clearly saying it, your best outcome here, if you want to fulfill your hopes and dreams and wishes, is just what I said, block them. This is show no interest in them. If you show interest in them, they will never leave you alone. If you just stop showing interest, frankly, they quickly acquire another target and move along. They periodically will return to you when that target is destroyed. When that target is destroyed, yeah, they might come back. There's your, there's your, uh, you know, Mercury uh, retrograde. And that's where you got to remember the vice, never do that. <laughs> Particularly with a narcissist, but really, though, it's a... Uh, Mercury retrogrades are about remembering why it went wrong in the first place and not repeating the same mistake, by and large. So it's a pretty clear uh, reading here, guys, and I'm sorry, but, you know, and it's very clear, and I'm sure this is the exact same thing. Anyone that cares about you and loves you is already telling you, let this go, block it big time, let them go acquire another target and do whatever you got to do to make that happen, because this, this cannot end well, guys. Thank you, though. Um, if you like anyway, <laughs> make a comment. I mean, I don't know if you don't feel like it's relating to you, but if it's resonating, particularly make comments. If it's a clear but complex reading that's uh, probably not all that uncommon, unfortunately, in uh, relationships, so some fashion here. Um, it's just we don't always uh, wake to it early sometimes. So, you know, the earlier you awake to this uh, kind of predation by a narcissist, um, the less damage you suffer. So hopefully we caught this early, guys. Thank you.